unfortunately there is no nba basketball today so we will be having a news episode now i will be saying that most of this stuff is about damian lillard if i'm being honest so let's get right into it first report we have here is that the knicks are preparing a trade package to for damian lillard if the blazers make him available I think that the Knicks shouldn't do it. I'm already going to say that. I mean, I know that, that New York fans are going to love a superstar finally being in New York after saying that they would get Zion, KD, and Kyrie in 2019. And uh, of course, they, they got none of those. They ended up actually getting RJ Bear, but I really don't think that they should do this because their team is mostly on the younger side of things. Other than Derrick Rose, who they could bring back just to be that type of veteran point guard for the team. Julius Randle is only 26, of course, Obi Toppin, Manuel Quickly are rookies. You have um, RJ Barrett, who's still obviously really, really young, and um, their own Snowell, who's still a young center. Their whole entire team is young, and I really don't think that they should trade RJ Barrett, who I'm guessing, because I think that another page in here, right, wait for it, here, Knicks are interested in trading RJ Barrett in a deal for a star like Damian Lillard or, or Bradley Beal. I doubt that they get Beal, we'll focus on Lillard here. Um, I, they would obviously have to throw RJ Barrett in a deal for Dame, and I don't think that they should do that because he is a star in progress, and I don't know, I, I, I really don't, th I don't think that, that the Knicks should be trading for Dame, like I said, I know that they love it, but I, I really don't think that they should, but moving on, the Heat are all in on Damian Lillard, and the Pelicans would give up Ingram and multiple first round picks for Damian Lillard. You, you know, I find the Heat being all in on Dame interesting. I would do that, but like, who would we do? I mean, I saw multiple reports that it could have been a package like, Nung, uh, sorry, Tyler Hero and Duncan Robinson and Kendrick Nunn, which would probably not really work. And I'm not really sure. I think that we could settle for a guy like possibly Colin Sexton, who's been made available in some trades recently, and that he'd have had talks with the Cavs, at least I think, because um, I've been seeing that a lot. But I think that Damian Lillard might be too expensive. By by inexpensive, I mean not like contract-wise, I mean like asset-wise. The Blazers might want guys like Tyler Hero, Duncan Robinson, Kendrick Nunn, Precious Achua, Casey, or I, I don't really mind Casey Paula, but... I feel like we have so many young assets that they're going to want too much, and there, there might not be a deal done unless Damian Lillard completely forces his way out, and we can do the thing that we did with the Rockets to see how low the Blazers would go to give up Damian Lillard, but as we saw, like I said, with with um, Miami and Houston, how it got to as low as giving, as giving up Cali Olenek and Avery Bradley for an all-star caliber player, at least when he was in his prime with Indiana in Victor Oladipo, but he ended up getting injured, so that didn't really turn out well. Um, the, but the Heat one, I, I just don't think that Damian Lillard will be made possible. T trust me, I would love to get Damian Lillard, but if it's giving up Tyler Hero, Kendrick Nunn, Duncan Robinson, and possibly even like Petrus Achua, like I said, I really don't think it's going to happen. The Pelicans would give up Ingram and multiple firsts for Damian Lillard. No. I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna say like no, like I'm, 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 not, I'm, I'm, I'm not like vetoing the trade or anything, but like I really don't think that the Pelicans should do it. The Blazers would probably love to do that because if Damian Lillard ends up forcing his way out of Portland, they're gonna have to trade him no matter what. And Brandon Ingram, who is in a near, he, he's an All-Star caliber player. He's not quite an All-Star at least right now, but he is a cal all-star caliber player. He was close this year. I think he was close last year. I don't think he made it last year, but, um, and multiple first, that would be really, really nice for Portland considering how they didn't even make the playoffs this season. Now, adding Damian Lillard to that roster with Zion could, would probably be a playoff team, but I don't really know. It depends on what they would do with Lonzo, whether maybe it's like sign and trade to Chicago or something. But it looks like it looks like this trade would probably only be possible if the if the Pelicans don't bring back Lonzo because I don't really see them bringing back Lonzo and and trading for Dame because they would have to I mean maybe you can start Lonzo with like shooting guard or point guard and have Dame and shoot you know some type of rotation like that but it would kind of be it wouldn't be that good defensively and i really don't think that the pelicans should be doing that and i don't think that you're gonna believe the next report dennis Schroeder reportedly wants 100 million to 120 million in free agency 
obviously that would probably be on like a long-term deal but if it the max he would get is a four-year deal obviously and for that to happen if i do my calculations right that's at least 25 million dollars worth per year per year like i need to look at players making 25 mil to see this talent so according to espn the smallest contract on at least 25 million dollars per year is Nikola Vucevic, who's at 26 million, because um, before that is Chandler, or sorry, Buddy Heald at 24 mil, but n he's not even at Nikola Vucevic level. Now, of course, there's some odd guys out here in John Wall and like um, Otto Porter or something like that, or was it Wendell Carter? No, I'm pretty sure it's Otto Porter. But um, most of these guys are basically correct. I mean, like Al Horford, of course, you know him. Like I said, Otto Porter. Um, who are some other odd guys out? I mean, you could say Kristaps Porzingis after the playoffs, possibly. Andrew Wiggins, of course, we know what contract he's on. Um, Steven Adams, you could also say Penn Simmons after the, after the playoffs. Um, Kevin Love, th that's a yikes. I mean, I think we'll get to Colin Sexton in a little bit, but like I said, the Heat could be interested in trading for him, and there's been conversations that they could be including Kevin Love in a deal. And with that contract, I'm not really too sure about that. Tobias Harris should not be the 14th person on this list making $34 million a year. Kemba Walker's making 34 mil, of course, his terrible contract. Mike Conley's up there with 34 mil, huge contract. And then John Wall has the fifth biggest contract at 40, sorry, 41 million. And then Chris Paul at number three, 41 mil. Russell Westbrook, 41 mil. And Steph Curry at 40 three million but i i just made it like a contract episode but basically confirming dennis Schroeder is not worth that much money now that was just that that was just me explaining on a four-year deal which means 25 mil and i don't really think he's getting a four-year 120 something 100 something million dollar deal from a certain team especially not the lakers so dennis it's, it's gonna be no unfortunately um, and then Kawhi is missing the rest of the Suns Clipper series that th again this post was a day ago So it doesn't really matter at this point and um, The Knicks are monitoring Colin Sexton, Shea Gilgis Alexander and Terry Rozier now I can already confirm Shea is not gonna be traded I mean, he's literally if, if he was going to be traded any time that he would have been traded Would have been last offseason when the Thunder blew it up of course training Schroeder, Chris Paul um, Daniil Gallinari um, uh, Steven Adams, you know, e everybody. He would have been traded in that point, but no. And my chair just, like, fell. I got so scared. Um, see, like, like the Knicks should be going after these people, not Damian Lillard. Like, Colin Sexton could be good because because he could be traded. Um, Shea Gilders, I doubt it. Terry Rozier, maybe he's, like, decently young. Not too, not, not, not really, though. Um, but I doubt that the Hornets really trade him. And then, um, that... That's basically it. Giannis now saying that, I mean, also Giannis has no stru structural damage to his knee and his return timeline is unclear. But uh, he is out for game five. I don't know if he's going to be playing for game six as the um, the, the, the Bucks are up by uh, make that 12 now with 2.30 left in the fourth. So it looks like they're going to go up 3-2. Will they be able to close down six or will it go seven? Actually, we're going to have the after the buzzer literally or I'm making this before the after the buzzer, but the after the buzzer is now up. So make sure you go watch that right now. But that will wrap up the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great day and peace.